Hey guys, welcome to a new video from nzpocketguide.com in which today we're going to be talking about the cost of life in New Zealand and more specifically about the cost of food in supermarkets in New Zealand so you know how much money you're going to spend when making food for yourself during your travel in New Zealand. All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to do things a little bit differently. As you can tell, I'm not sitting on the couch anymore giving you tips about traveling in New Zealand. I'm just right here with you on the computer and we're going to be browsing the website of the three most popular supermarkets in New Zealand. And we're going to look together at the prices of food in the country. So the three main websites in New Zealand are Pack and Save, New World and Countdown. We're going to see each of those websites two times during this video and I'll give you some information about those supermarkets as we go. And um, let's get started with the fruits and vegetables. So, you know, if you want to be healthy on the road, how much you're going to be spending. So Pack and Save is a very popular um, place to shop in New Zealand for people that travel on a budget. It is branded as kind of like the cheapest type of supermarket in the country. And uh, they are very uh, prominent in some of the largest city in the country. So you won't really find them in smaller towns, but you'll find them in cities and bigger towns. All right, so let's look a little bit at how much are fruit and vegetables in Pack and Save. So this video is recorded in September 2020, so that should give you a good uh, range of price. Just so you know, it is spring in New Zealand right now, so that will reflect a little bit on as the price on some uh, fruit and vegetables. Um, and spring in New Zealand is between uh, September and November. All right, so the bananas right now are $2.79 a kg. Avocados are 3 for uh, 550 so they usually buy the piece and by the piece they are 199 um, broccolis are a dollar 29 each cucumber are two dollar 99 each and a red capsicums are two dollar 99 each as well moving on to the carrots they are a dollar 49 per kg the tomatoes are definitely not in season at this time of the year so they are 12 dollar 39 per kg the brown onions are $1.49 per kg. The spring onions are $2.99 for a bunch. That should give you between 4 and 5 little spring onions in a bunch. Um, the mandarins, they are $4.99 per kg. And actually, this should show you right here that uh, you always have the prices right here on the website as well per 100 grams because they do really like to change a lot prices between kgs, piece, each and uh, 100 grams so be aware on that uh, moving on to the uh, pro the bobby bananas they are a bunch uh, usually wrapped in plastic of much smaller bananas and they are $3.69 for the classic whitewashed potatoes they are $2.49 a kg uh, for a fresh cut lettuce it's $1.99 each that's usually an iceberg lettuce Navel oranges are $2.99 per kg and red kumaras are $4.99 per kg. If you don't know what kumaras are, it's basically the sweet potatoes. It's kind of red inside and it's much sweeter. So it's the New Zealand version of the sweet potato. Cauliflowers are $3.99 each. Mangoes are $1.99. Pineapple are $3.99. And uh, green capsicums are $2.99. And we have some more kumaras. Those ones are the orange ones and they are $7.49. All right, so we're going to move on to another uh, type of supermarket in New Zealand. They are called New World. And we're going to look at oh, what is going on. Okay, we're going to look at their butchery. Um, okay, so the butchery in New World. So New World, they are the same company that Pack and Save. They are found almost everywhere in New Zealand. They are available in both small town and big town. So they're kind of more of a widespread supermarket that you're going to find everywhere. All right, so for looking at uh, meat, we are having a uh, skinless chicken breast. They are $12.99 a kg. If you want pri prime beef mince, sorry about that. Um, prime beef mince, that means they, it's a bit more lean, there is less fat in it, and that's uh, $14.99. If you want chick sets per kg. If you want chicken drumstick, they are $6.99 per kg as well. If you want premium beef mince, so even less fat in it, and that's $17.99 per kg. And if you want to uh, do, do a big roast, I don't know who's doing a roast one on the road, but I commend you for doing that. But a big lang le lamb leg roast, that would be $13.99 a kg. All right, moving on to uh, beef. 
We're having beef rum steak for $16.99. We're having a lamb shoulder chop. Okay, we're back to lamb. The organization on those websites, I've filtered all the different items by popularity. So I thought there would be a little bit of scent in there, but no, it's all over the place. So we have lamb shoulder chops. They are $18.99 a kg. Um, we're having New Zealand pork leg roast, and they are $10.99 a kg. Uh, Scotch fillet beef, that's $37.99, so $38. Um, pork loin chop who that was a hard one 17.99 so 18 dollars a kg uh lamb loin chops they are 27 dollars a kg i'm going to stop saying the 99 because let's be honest you know every time i say 26.99 it means 27 so i'm just going to round it up it's going to be easier as well for me to say it uh corned beef corned silver side that's going to be nine dollars a kg beef sirloin steak is 26 dollars a kg uh, pork shoulder chop, they're going to be $13 a kg. And chicken thighs with the bone in will be $6 a kg. Uh, we have beef schnitzel for $25 a kg. We also have uh, chicken thighs cutlets. And I think that means they removed the, uh, the bone in it, but I'm not 100% sure. That's $14 a kg. We're having beef eye fillet steak. So that's the premium cut, and that's $45 a kg. And we're having pork mince for $14.99, which is $15 a kg. Finally, if you want a whole chicken, you can get a free range whole chicken for $16. So that was the meat from New World. We're going to be moving on to Countdown, which is the same company that owned Woolworth in Australia, if you guys have ever been to Australia. And same thing, they are uh, quite a mainstream supermarket. You will be able to find them pretty much everywhere in the country. And you're also going to be able to find them um, in, in even in the city center. For example, in Auckland, they have something called Countdown Metro. Um, and they are kind of smaller supermarket version. But, you know, it's kind of like w when supermarket meets convenience store. Okay, and on the here, we're going to be looking at the fridge and kind of daily section. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an understanding about what's in the fridge. So if you want some milk, so those one are the fresh milk, not the uh, long-lasting milk. So they're usually a bit more expensive. So for three liters, that would be $5.03. For butter, if you want a 500 gram block of butter, that would be $5.40. If you want a cheese block, um, because in New Zealand they love to do blocks of cheese, and one kg block of cheese is like a brick. You can build a house if you buy enough of them, and that's ten dollars a kg. Uh, if you only want two liters of milk, that will cost you uh, three dollar thirty-seven. Uh, then, if you want some cream to make a nice uh, cream strawberry cheesecake, you can have uh, five hundred milliliters of cream for three dollar fifty-six. More cheese for ten dollars. More cream. Um, we're having some like shaved ham to put in your sandwiches. That's um, twenty dollar per kg. So usually they will price that per hundred grams when you go in the supermarket. So you see a sign that says two dollar per hundred grams. There is more milk in there. I'm just gonna skip all the milk that there is. Okay, so going to the baker bacon. So the streaky bacon for four hundred grams, you will you will pay nine dollars. But if you get any three of them, so they are a bunch of of uh, product usually kind of bundled together, and they do any three of them, so you can get three of those bacon or you know two bacon and two pack of sausages for example and that would be three for twenty dollars so basically you buy two you get one almost for free um, some more hams so those one would be um, two packs of 200 grams of ham for um, six dollars you can see the little special right here if you want some spread it's kind of butter but easier to spread that's four dollars for 500 grams there is more cheese over there um, sour cream will be uh, uh, $1.60 for 125 grams, so that's really small, it looks like a small yogurt pot. And if you want grated cheese already, just to put on your, on your, piz on your pizzas or on your pasta, that would be $8.90 for 550 grams. And finally, we're looking at feta cheese, if you want to do some nice salad, that would be $3.50 for 200 grams. All right, so we're going to be moving on to the pantry. So that's basically your, uh, I put everything here and I don't know, you know, I, I watch, I didn't know where to go. So there is a lot of different type of food here and we are back to pack and save. So again, usually kind of the cheapest kind of uh, supermarket in New Zealand. So if you want a pack of chips, um, that's 150 grams pack of chips and that will be three for five dollars. If you want a can of tomato uh, in juice, so they're already chopped, it helps you make sauce for pastas and everything. That's 400 grams in a can, and that's 69 cents for one can. 
If you want um, spaghetti in tomato sauce in a can, why would you? But if you want that, that's a dollar seventy-five. There is some more chips right here. As you can see, you can bundle different of them to get a three for five dollars. If you want baked beans for your classic English breakfast, that would be a can of baked beans will be a dollar seventy-five. If you want a pack of sugar, that would be two dollar thirty-five. There is more chips for three for five dollars. If you want some onion soup, so the reason why the onion soup is always high in the popularity list is because uh, Kiwis love to use um, the onion soup and mix it with sour cream to make something called the Kiwi Dip. And uh, when they do this mix, so just dry powder onion soup, mix it with sour cream, and then you pick your, uh, you know, you, you dip your chips in it and you eat it. So that's the Kiwi Dip. Anyway, so the Maggi onion soup will be uh, 32 grams and that's a dollar 35 for each. So chocolate bars, uh, if you want the sneakers, um, that's uh, 99 cents for a sneaker bar. Uh, if you're on a can of tuna, that's 95 grams can of tuna. So that's a really small one. That would be a dollar 89. If you're on a big uh, mayonnaise, 405 grams, that would cost you four dollar 89. If you want some little crisp and uh, little snacks to have, that would be 219, and that's 175 grams. We have reduced cream for uh, two dollar 89. Uh, pasta will be 87 cents. That's really the cheapest kind of pasta you can find in the country, right? Usually that will range you, that will go around the two dollar mark. So that's really the really budget budget pasta, and that would be uh, 87 cents for 500 grams. And then uh, plain flour, uh, that's the uh, normal kind of Pam's is the, the the brand which is owned by Pack and Seven New World. So you'll find them in both uh, places, and that's the cheapest kind of brand. And there will be a dollar seventy six for one point five kg of flour. We're gonna keep going a little bit on this website to keep on going with the pantry because there is a lot of different kind of um, stuff in there, so that may help you understand a bit more of the cost of food in New Zealand. So we have uh, what is tomato sauce, which is 575 grams, that's three dollars and nine cents. More chips, a lot of chips, more pasta. Whitaker's chocolate, so that's those big blocks of chocolate, which are 250 grams, and Whitaker's is one of the best brands in New Zealand. They're really awesome, and they are four dollar fourteen each. They really taste good. Uh, we're gonna skip with the done the tuna already. A little slab of Whitaker's chocolate at 99 cents for a 50 gram slab. Tim Tams, so they're kind of like a classic English and, uh, and Kiwi um, biscuits, and they are uh, $2.39, so they're, they're, they're kind of like a cookie. That, go, that goes on the side of teas, uh, when you make tea. Uh, spaghetti, 80, 88 cents for 500 grams. I'm just keeping some stuff. Um, there is some more. Um, oh, if you want some uh, cheese chisels, they're like kind of ring cheesy crisps. They are $1.59 for 120 grams. Uh, moving on, Cadbury chocolate, uh, chocolate block, Cadbury, there's a ton of different flavors. Uh, 180 grams, that's 2 dollars for a chocolate block. Witabix for your breakfast, 750 grams, that's $4.29. And a lollipop would be 40 cents. So here you go, that's a, a little bit of understanding of what you have in the pantry and what does it cost. We're going to move on for to drinks uh, to another supermarket, then we have bakery, and then after we are done. So let's keep going with drinks. What do drink cost in New Zealand? So if you want to buy bottled water, 1.5 liter of water will cost you 99 cents. But the water in New Zealand is absolutely delicious right from the tap and you can drink the tap water almost everywhere and there's no danger whatsoever. So genuinely, you do not need to buy bottled water because it's really bad for the environment. So you don't need to buy bottled water, but if you do need to, that's 99 cents for 1.5 liter. If you want to buy yourself some Coca-Cola, that's three seventy-nine for the, uh, a 1.5 liter bottle. If you want to get a 2.25 dollar bottle, uh, sorry, liter bottle, so like the much bigger bottle, that's two for five fifty. So that's a, a big discount at the moment. Schweppes sparkling soft drinks is a dollar sixty-nine. There is more bottled water at ninety-nine cents. So you see different brands, same price. Coke Zero 1.5 liter is still at three seventy-nine. LNP, if you guys don't know what LNP are, it's uh, basically a lemonade and it stands for, L stands for lemon and P stands for Parora, which is the town in the North Island where they used to make it. And now it's owned by Coca-Cola. It basically tastes like Sprite, but with much more of a lemony taste. And uh, yeah, if you pass through the town of Parora, you can stop and there's a giant bottle. You can take some pictures and be like, woo, we do have a video on this channel of us doing exactly that. Why? I don't know. It's fun to do. 
All right, so much more soft drinks. They're all about 3.79 for 1.5 liter. Uh, coffee, uh, if you want instant coffee, uh, 90 gram, that would be 2.49. Uh, if you want some apple juice, fresh apple juice, for 800 milliliters, that would be 4.99. Um, there is uh, also apple and fijua uh, juice that would be 3.99 for 800 milliliters. So if you put fijua in it, that's cheaper. Fijua is a fruit uh, very very popular here in New Zealand. Um, so yeah, there is more of that. Uh, okay, we're looking at orange juice. So 2.4 liter for Kerry orange juice that would be $5.49. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna give you another uh, another page of those to show you some more drinks. Hopefully we get to see teas and and stuff like that. All right, tea. Here you go, Salem tea bags. There is 100 bag in this pack and it's 579. I'm gonna move gloss over all the soft drinks because they're all exactly the same price and I said before. Instant coffee, if you want the value brand, that would be 199 for uh, this coffee powder, 90 grams. If you want some premium ones, you can get Mokona for 10.49, 90 grams as well. You can get Milo, which is kind of a, a, a chocolatey kind of drink that you can have in the morning. Um, and that's 310 grams, that's 4.69. If you need a sports drink, a Powerade Mountain Blast, um, it will cost you $2.99 for 750 milliliters. I'm gonna move on if you want V energy drink, which is basically the competitor of Red Bull. That is $2.99 for 500 milliliters. Or if you want a Red Bull, you can get a Red Bull for $2.99 for 473 milliliters. If you want uh, Raro favorites, that's those kind of drinks like orangey, uh, tasty drinks which come in powder uh, sachets. So you kind of rip the sachet open, you put it in water and you mix it. There is three packs for $1.49. And then there is some more. Um, a small bottle of water, 750 uh, milliliters, and that's uh, 99 cents. You can get some value... A brand soft drink. This one is lemonade for 99 cents for uh, 1.5 liter. And here you go. All right, we're going to move on to the bakery. We're almost there, guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying um, the fact that I'm giving you a good understanding about the cost of food in New Zealand. If you do find that useful, just know that we actually do video about uh, traveling in New Zealand every, almost every day. We publish videos super often in this channel. So a great way to first support us, but also keep informed and, and get all the knowledge you need for traveling in New Zealand. You can hit the subscribe button. And if you do find what I'm doing right here useful, uh, make sure to click like. It's, it's a great way to, and to support us tell YouTube that this video is useful and, and it's free for you guys to support us so that's pretty awesome um, all right so we are at the bakery and now we're back at countdown so uh, again I'm switching between supermarkets in order to give you guys an understanding about um, all the different prices everywhere so those kind of uh, bread sliced um, that goes in the plastic bag there are a ton of them and the prices are a little bit all over the place so it goes from 320 to like a dollar 70 um, to four dollars so it's very very much everywhere but if you want wraps they are three dollar fifty for a 10 packs that's a bit of a of a of a different stuff crumpets which are kind of like little uh, blinis I, I'm gonna say um, 300 gram there's six in them that's 220 so much of those items can we get like more um uh, i'm just gonna keep on rising i'm gonna go for uh where cakes and this biscuit and pastry maybe that'd be an, an, an interesting one um so they you know like like in most places in most supermarkets there is a bit of a bakery and they make some biscuits and stuff like that um so uh, the biscuits they're gonna be costing you um 550 for 620 grams those one are like cookies um what else do we have yeah some more cookies right here yeah all that is cookies let's see what else can we find i'm gonna try to find you maybe eggs i just realized eggs were not there so what's the cost of eggs so if you're on a 12 pack that will cost you uh, 12 packs of eggs of four dollars seventy if you want to get them free range they will be about seven dollars so if you like the chickens you pay a little bit more so that's uh, about the same price for all the eggs about between yeah four seventy and seven dollars for the free range what else have we, haven't we done? What about uh, what about frozen food? Uh, we're gonna go browse for frozen food a little bit to give you a bit of an understanding. If you need to make yourself some um, smoothies in the morning, you may want to get yourself some frozen fruit. So if you want some blueberries, that is five dollars for five hundred grams. And if you want to get yourself a mix of berries, it's nine fifty for one kg. If you want some chopped spinach to put maybe in your pasta dish, that would cost you two dollars for five hundred grams. 
there is much more of those uh, fruits that we've seen. Oh, if you want some uh, crisps, like oven um, crisps to do, one kg is $4.30. If you want uh, frozen fish, like crumbed in bread, that would be $8 for 480 grams. If you want frozen corns, that's $2.50 for 500 grams. Mixed vegetables is $2.30 for one kg. Peas will be $2.30 for one kg. Uh, keep on moving on. Uh, this one is for Mike Kane, but that's the same thing we've seen. Baby beans, that would be $2.50 for 500 grams. And I think we uh, we wrap it up. That was pretty good. All right, guys, so I hope that you did find this video useful. Um, I try to give you an understanding about the cost of life uh, in New Zealand through the cost of basic foods. If there is any food item that I missed, uh, you can ask us in the comment below. I'm really happy to kind of check out the price for you guys to give you some understanding. Again, the supermarket will pack and save count down a new world and if you do want to learn more about traveling in New Zealand you can join us during one of our live session we do live session on that couch every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time at the end of this, this video sorry about that I will actually put a little um, screen where I give you different times around the world but in the description below there is a link that will give you the exact time and date in your country for our next live session which is quite cool there is also the website NZ the pocket guide com which is super useful it's the bible of traveling in new zealand there is so much information and if you're researching the cost of life in new zealand know that we have uh, an entire section uh, dedicated to all those kind of articles so we can tell you about the cost of, cost of transportation the cost of backpacking in new zealand the cost of rental in new zealand the cost of um, uh, accommodation in new zealand and all these kind of things and it's always up to date for you so it's at www.nzpocketsguide.com the link in is in the description below as well all right in the meantime thank you very much for liking this video rewarding me for all my hard work and we we'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye